Todd. Hey, this is Jim. He's our new marketing research assistant, and uh, you guys will be sharing this workspace. So um, try and help him get acclimated. All right. Absolutely. Hey, man. So you've been in marketing long? Me? Oh no. I majored in business in college, but I, I took some time off to explore other things. This is actually the first marketing job I ever applied for. Yeah, checking out other options is always good. So, what happened? Any other good options? I did some interesting things, but it was time to settle down and use my degree. Everyone's got to grow up sometime, right? Yeah, man, I hear that. Sometimes wish I spent a little bit more time exploring. I went right from college to this job. Six months later, I got married. Wife ended up pregnant. I'm stuck, man. No way out. Well, you really didn't have any time for fun. No, no, I didn't. Kind of sucks. I should be more like you. We still have plenty of time. Life will throw some opportunities your way if you want them. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Well, hey man, I'm gonna take off. Well, okay, thanks for your help today though. No problem at all. Just one more thing before I go. I wanted to give you this. Just a few uh, helpful hints for being successful here. Check it out when you get a chance. Okay, thank you. Yeah, have a good night, bud. Yeah, it's you too. Come in. You know it's a black one, right? I wouldn't say that. You're the one that said life would throw opportunities my way if I wanted them, right? I was off to pictures of you on the internet this morning right before you came in. Do you know that? What are the chances, right? <laughs> What do you want? <laughs> what do you think I want? Get on your knees.
Charlie, I'm about to head out. Come stop by my office for a second, so we can touch base about the meeting. Be right there. I think I got everything pretty well organized. So just remember to pull the PowerPoint presentation off the main server and save it locally on your laptop. Obviously, I can't do much without it. Yeah, the whole trip would kind of be pointless without that. No problem, sir. And make sure you get to the airport on time. Our flight leaves at 6.30, so we need to check in by 5. My alarm is already set. All right, then. I guess that's it. I'm going to go home and try to get some sleep. It's been a long week. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. Sir, I'm so sorry. Please, don't let the I'm so sorry's right now. I just have no idea how it happened. You have no idea how you managed to delete the entire content of my presentation document? Well, guess what? I have no idea how you could do something that stupid either. I've never seen anyone so gifted at screwing things up. You're like magic. Excuse my French. Sir, I really don't think I could have done it. I mean, I know I was the last one on the file and everything, but I seriously didn't delete anything and- Just, just shut up. Shut up. Stop trying to cover your ass. This account is worth over a hundred thousand dollars and you just made it disappear right along with the presentation poof gone bye bye sir is there anything I can do anything you can do anything you can do for costing me the account I've been working on all year do you have any idea what you've done? Any idea? With all due respect, sir, I don't think this type of mistake warrants this type of abuse. I'll talk to you when you calm down. You were no Hilda? stay late to work on this. I can't just say sorry, my girlfriend has tickets to a play. This is important. No, I'm not saying it's more important than you, I'm saying it's my job. It's my job. What do you mean, don't come home tonight? Beth, I don't want to sleep at the office. No, I do not live here anyway. Look, we'll talk about this when I get... What? Are you serious? Beth, wait. <sighs> Sorry about that. My girlfriend had tickets to a place. It's alright, man. I understand. That really got us keeping hair up brutal. Yeah, well, she wants the $3,000 a month loft in downtown, so the money's got to come from somewhere. Wow. 
Well, uh, let's try to wrap this up as early as we can then. At least there's two of us working on it. Maybe we can both get out of here at a decent hour. No rush for me. I'm gonna be sleeping right here tonight. Come on, she didn't mean that, did she? Yeah, she's done it before. Whoa, she's hardcore. Hey, uh, listen, if you need to crash at my place tonight, you can. Thanks, I might take you up on that. This chair ain't the most comfortable place to sleep. I know that from past experience. Well, back to the grind. Okay, I just sent you the final version with the revisions. Tell me what you think. This looks good. I think we got it. Thank God, I'm so ready to get out of here. Well, you wanna go grab a drink before we head back to my place? You read my mind. Let's go. They say the things that attract you to a person are the things that'll drive you crazy about them later. I think it's true. I mean, when I first met Beth, I liked that she was a bitch. That it was sexy. She didn't take any crap from anyone, including me. She was so in control, confident. It was kind of a turn on to, to be, I don't know, dominated like that. I've never met a woman like her. But now it's starting to seem like some kind of pathology. I mean, she doesn't bend at all. She doesn't understand anything I'm going through. It's all about her, all the time. Maybe it's time to do something about it. I mean, you can't keep getting thrown out of your place every time you work late. Yeah, but it's better than going home and getting yelled at. So that's your thing, huh? Like being dominated? Well, I don't know if I'd put it like that. You just did. You were talking about Beth. Did I? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I did. But only in the right way. And this ain't the right way. Yeah, staying at a guy's house after a 14-hour day at work isn't much of a turn-on, huh? Actually, I'm really grateful you're letting me stay with you. It's kind of good to talk to someone. I've been under so much pressure lately. It's nice to let off a little steam. Yeah, you gotta relieve all that stress. I know what you mean. Sweet home. It's nice. I like it. Here's my little bachelor pad. Makes me a little nostalgic knowing to yell at you when you come home, you know? Yeah. You're gonna take my bed tonight. I'll take the couch. Oh no, man. You, I, I can't do that to you. You're doing enough for me as is. Down the hall, make yourself comfortable. Thanks,
What, are you sleeping in all your clothes? Oh, well, I guess not. You okay, man? Yeah, yeah. I'm just a little stressed out. I'm fine, though. Guess that drink didn't help too much, huh? Probably needed a few more. I don't mean let me loosen you up a little bit. I'm certified in sports massage. Oh no, that's okay, I'm alright. This will loosen you up more than any drink, trust me. Hey Kern, just the guy I want to see. I'm expecting a few important calls this morning, so if you can do me a favor, and postpone that brunch meeting I'm supposed Sir, to have. I, I, I have to give you this first. Your resignation? Yes, sir. It is. Aren't you happy here, Kirk? I love working for you, Mr. Magnum. It's just a personal matter. It says effective immediately. So you're leaving today? I'm just cleaning out my desk, sir. And then I'll cancel that brunch for you, but unfortunately I have to leave today. Well, there's not much I can do to stop you. Okay, Kirk. You've been a great assistant. I'm gonna miss you. Good luck with whatever you have to deal with. Thank you, sir. Maybe a little. You gonna tell me what's going on now? It's a long story. Family stuff. My mom needs me to come back home for a while and help out. For how long? I don't know. Maybe forever. Not looking forward to it, I'll tell you that. Moving back to Minnesota was not on my to-do list this year. You know I was pretty mad at you all day today. You're not going to be easy to replace. Well, you're not going to be easy to replace as a boss either. I've never liked working for anybody as much as I do you. Yeah, we had great chemistry. Great chemistry. Thank you, sir. That means a lot to me.
You made me look forward to coming to work every day. I'm gonna miss that. Yeah, same here. God, I think I'm gonna need another drink if I keep talking like this. You know, you spend years trying to get away from your family, trying to make a life for yourself. And then as soon as you do, you right back in. You're being a good son. You should be proud of yourself. You're doing the right thing. I thought doing the right thing was supposed to feel good. This does not feel good. You're a great person, Kirk. That's why I value you so much. Guys like you are hard to find these days. Trust me. That's funny. I always felt the same way about you. I've never looked up to anyone so much before. God, this is sappy. I'm sorry. Excuse me, I'm gonna go use the restroom. There's just one thing I meant to tell you before I forget.